Hello everybody, Mental Fox here. Welcome back to Fallout 76. Thanks for joining me again. Where are we? I'm not sure. Okay, we're here just northeast of Pleasant Valley Cabins. Uh, last episode, we spent quite a bit of time marching from the east side of the map. Somewhere over here. Where was it? Um, where was it? Somewhere over here. Uh, yeah, here. We marched. Here's my custom destination. Uh, we marched from the west side of the map over to the east side, where we are now. And, um... Here we are. We're getting ready to go back. Ooh, whoa. There's a blast zone up here. Interesting. That's kind of an inter interesting spot for a blast zone, I feel like. But uh, we're heading back to uh, Fort Atlas because we completed our mission over at Lewis and Sons. I didn't want to do that. I want to do this. Field testing. Looks like there are no more ghouls here. I should return to Fort Atlas and give Paladin Romani the good news. That's what we're going to do. We're going to go up this way. And from here, you can see the big mushroom cloud from the nuke that was dropped in that direction. Oh, uh-oh. What, where? Who, what, where? Deadly mole rat. This guy. I'm over encumbered, but we're going to go over here and do a little bit of cooking, and hopefully that will unencumber me a little bit. But we gotta take out these mole rats first. Oh, I really like this. Look at that. That's pretty funny. Oh, I've contracted bone worms. Ah, uh, not bone worms. Are there any more of these things around here? Bone worms. What do bone worms do? Let's see. Uh, bone worms take fifty percent more limb damage. Well, that's not good. Let's try not to take any damage. Let's go to our cooking station here. What can we cook up? Well, we could make some boiled water. Pretty much it. Food. I know we're going to be able to make something with uh, rad roaches. We got one more of these. And um, the mole rats we just chunked up. Okay. Anything else we could make? Kind of looking like no. Nothing healing. Okay, did that free up any of our weight? It did not, really. Still at 299, but that's okay. I'm not too worried about it. I don't think I am anyway. When we get back over to... Um, Fort... Atlas, we will take care of that. I'm gonna take this stuff. That's a lot of ammo. I'm gonna leave the weapon here. I don't need it. Check this out. <laughs> That's pretty cool. I wonder what somebody was after when they decided to drop a bomb there. I remember, I kind of remember, you, you, where you drop the bomb kind of determines like what kind of enemies are going to be there, maybe. So if I keep walking this way, I'll eventually make it back over to the road. Then we can take the road up back to Fort Atlas. Okay, here's the railroad tracks. We could take the railroad tracks. Let's take the railroad tracks. That might be fun. Uh, here we've got somebody... Whoa. She survived that somehow. And... None the wiser. Nice. Oh, I've been spotted. 
Not too worried about it. So this is caution. There must be still somebody else over there. I hear them. I hear someone. Where is he? Vats isn't picking him up. Oh. Nice. That'll do it. I feel like. Let's see what kind of crap these guys have. Tons of ammo. Oh, whoops. Well, whatever. You know. Over encumbered, schmover encumbered. So what if I use up more action points when I walk around? Who really cares? I'll find out how much I care here in a bit, probably. I'm not sure how people got up there. I saw somebody walking around up there. Surely there's not a ladder on this side. That wouldn't make any sense. How'd they get up there? <laughs> I dropped right down inside of this thing. That's funny. Whoa, man, I can jump high. Too high. Okay, there's nothing up here for us. We'll be on our way. Cool, we're gonna cross that bridge down there. We'll cross that bridge when we get to it. You can see my action points are running out. But we'll be okay. I think. I think I remember crossing this bridge before. I believe I did. Hopefully no train will come. Uh, on the other side there, we've got uh, some petrifieds. Not worried about them. Here's some water running down there. Sounds nice. We get a lot of rain here in Texas where I live. Enjoy it while it lasts. We went for a walk on a trail today and it was nice to see water under our bridges. Normally it's just dry. High five. This game does have really nice music, doesn't it? So it's kind of soothing. Really fits with the uh, the beauty of this world they've created. It's nice to just walk and explore it. Oh, train tracks are going that way. Well, we're pretty close to Fort Atlas. Almost home. In fact, I'm wondering if I want to go up the hill to the entrance instead of following these train tracks. Let's try that. I don't remember where the entrance to this place is, but where I'm from, I don't need no entrance. I've got the hops. See if he has anything to say to us. What's up, Russ? I used to work with the folks at Foundation. Hard workers, but I wanted I something more than just settling. Always good to see a friendly face. Welcome back. Okay. Uh, nothing new to there. I wish that this thing kept these things grayed out so that I knew for sure I have talked to him before, but I know I've already asked him all that stuff. Let us uh, go ahead and go down here and do some scrapping while I'm thinking about it. 
could do it here at this armor workbench. So I'm going to scrap all these weapons. I have no use for them. Oh, crafting item unlocked. Nice. Uh, let's see. Any other weapons? Yeah, automatic assault, assault rifle. Bowie knife. Charging laser sniper rifle. Occultist dagger. A grenade launcher. Sounds, so, sounds cool, but I don't want it. Okay, any armor I picked up? Nope, we'll keep that for now. And then, uh, scrap all junk. All junk has been scrapped. That gets us down to 250. Which is pretty nice. Miscellaneous stuff over here. Junk. Okay. Well, we did it. We did some scrapping. Yeah, nice. Down to 250. Pretty good. All right, let's go inside. Talk to the paladin. Better tomorrow. All right, where are you? Up here. Two thousand miles of hikings put some real wear on it. But it smells really good. All right, Paladin Romani. Order. Protection. Welcome back. Thanks. You completed your assigned mission, candidate. Uh, I located the nest in a bunker under the Orwell Orchards and wiped them out. Good work. One less pocket of monsters in the area. They're signed to the locals that we're on their side. Yeah. You've risen to the challenges set before you and proven your worth to myself, Knight Shin, and Scribe Valdez. I hereby confer mm. on you the status of probationary initiate in the Brotherhood of Steel. I'm sorry, but we'll have to put the official initiation right on hold. Something's come up and we need to deal with it right away. Of course. If you've got anything else you need to take care of, make it quick. Report to me again when you're ready. Okay, well we got 300 caps, we completed the quest field testing. We get four Stimpaks, two Rataways, two Purified Waters, and a Plasma Grenade. Recruits, wrenches, training, weapons, and a base like this? Without running my own operation, we have involved this much paperwork. New quest, Disarming Discovery. Paladin Romani wants to speak to me about my first mission as an initiate initiate of the Brotherhood of Steel. And then the one we just finished. I'm tired of being stuck in Fort Atlas. Um Oh, that doesn't matter. There's no text. I keep forgetting that there's no text for completed missions. Well, I mean, I can't really think of any reason why I would wait around. Let's go ahead. Let's get to work. Paladin Romani Reporting for duty. Hello, Initiate. Congratulations on officially joining our ranks. I apologize that we aren't able to do an official ceremony right now, but as previously stated, something more important has come up. I've been informed that there is an independent settlement that needs our help. A group of Blood Eagle Raiders are extorting the villagers and taking their supplies. Raiders the village's leader, again. Jenny Brown, has more well, information. You can find her at their settlement. A camp made up of tree houses that they call the Retreat. Hmm. I think I remember that place. Uh, let's see here. We could say maybe later. We could say, really? This is my first mission? Isn't there something better to do? We could say, what do we get in return? I could say, you got it, boss. Or I could say, understood, Paladin. I mean... I'm kind of curious just to see how she responds to these things. I don't really feel like this is something I should be saying, but yeah, man, isn't there something better to do? Something better than helping those who can't help themselves? <laughs> Where's your sense of compassion? Aiding civilians is part of the Brotherhood's mission here in Appalachia. We need to show them our goodwill. Okay, fair enough. What do we get in return? We aren't asking the settlement for anything in return. They're going to need their supplies, and our goal is to return them. We need the people of Appalachia to know that we're here to help. 
Earning favor with the people of this region will benefit us in the long run. That in itself is a reward. But if you happen to get any additional supplies that the Blood Eagles have procured, you can bring them back here. Mm-hmm. I'll just scrap them. All right. Understood, Paladin. I trust that you will represent the Brotherhood admirably on your first mission, Initiate. Okay. Sounds like fun. We've spoken with Paladin Romani. Now we need to go speak to Jenny Brown. Uh, Paladin Romani has told me about a group of villagers that need her help. Oh, I was supposed to do a Preston Garvey joke there. Uh, I need to go to the retreat and talk to Jenny Brown for more information. Let's see where this is on the map. Um... Here we go. Yep. I remember this place from before. It is... So, let's see. We are... Okay, so it's not that far away, really. We could walk over there. This ridge here I'm a little concerned about. Old world science solved a um, if I wanted to try to take a road, I, could, I would walk all the way up here, all the way around, and then all the way down. Uh, but why do that when we could just do a, make a beeline? A link in the chain that binds. Anything else you want to say to us, Paladin? Keeps this order together. Have you spoken with Jenny yet? She will tell you everything you need to know about the mission. Okay. Have you spoken with Jenny yet? I guess we'll go speak with she Jenny. She will tell you everything you need to know about the mission. All right, let's we go find Jenny. So much to teach us. So yeah, I'm going to go ahead and just try to just make a beeline over there. Um, not that we're in a hurry or anything, but I just feel like we did a lot of walking in the last episode. So I feel like I'm going to try to make this episode a little bit more action. We'll see how that goes. And we're going that direction there. So let's go ahead and exit. Oh, will he say something now? If you're looking to always good to see a friendly nope. face. Welcome back. I figured he might have something to say to us. Oh, here we go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, shouldn't you be calling me initiate? You're very casual. Maybe. Sorry, I'm usually better with the protocol, but it just seems weird to use titles, initiate to initiate. I've been keeping watch out here for a long time. People coming and going since before the Brotherhood arrived. It helps like to stay friendly with people. Made it easier. Okay. Alright, I'll see you later. Don't be a stranger. You know, talking to him made me think that we should probably go talk to Night Shin and Valdez. What was her name? <laughs> Val, I don't remember what the other person's name was. Uh, and just see how they react to us being an initiate now. Let's go see if I can find them. And uh, get their impression. I think Knight Shin is never forget the heroes of Fort Defiance. Yeah, get out of the doorway, dude. I need to go in. Chain that binds. Welcome to Fort Atlas. My name's Initiate Pappas. My team and I are based here, but we're often away gathering intelligence for Scribe Valdez. Uh-huh. Uh okay, nothing. Here he is. Please dude. make sure to fill out your ration request. And no. We will not be accommodating aversion to mutated produce. All produce is mutated now. <laughs> if you're looking for advice, ask your fellow initiates. Well, he called us a fellow initiate. Uh, let's see here. Um, how can I be of service? If you're not sure what to do, then stay at your post and await orders. There's a lot going on around here right now. We haven't even unpacked, and there are people pressed up against our windows with petitions. I've got enough to deal with without having to babysit new recruits. Jeez, sorry I asked. Add Victorium. And then... It's impressive how much they've managed to... Valdez, I think, is up there. New recruits, Night Shin's training. Have a question. The past has the answers, but I'm not a bad backup. Um, I guess I have some technical data. I can't wait to take a closer look at this. Thanks again. Okay, so we gave her some technical data. Completed the forbidden knowledge quest again. What can I do for you? Or did you come to lend a hand? Um, well, 
I guess that's it. I'll be here if you need anything. Okay, because I'm pretty sure we already Five, set all those other things. Ooh, four more stem packs, that's awesome. Keep fighting out there. Let's go for a walk. Brotherhood's leader is like, must be a real hard ass. Any news to share? <laughs> Old world science, all the luck. Okay, so let's um, let's see if this works out for us. Oh, there's another one of those. Oh, never mind. The square is our destination. Palace of the Winding Path. Oh yeah, I kind of remember that. So I think I've heard or have been told that they're going to open up a new part of the map for a new quest. Oh gosh, alien drone. Holy hell, this thing's tearing me up. Oh gosh, oh. Damn it, ah, I don't remember what my keys are. Doggone it, that guy came out of nowhere. I'll select respawn location. Guess I can't respawn at my last death place, huh? Sure, Fort Atlas again. Uh, exterior. Okay. Man, that guy came out of freaking nowhere. Um, okay, I need to figure out... I guess my equals key is health? Okay, that seems convenient to use. The heck do I have it set to equals? I don't even know. Looks like this key here isn't mapped to anything. Um, I don't know. Maybe I'll remap my key at some point. Uh, I do need to take a drink of water and eat a little bit of food. And uh, sort by spoilage as we do. Okay. Grilled rat roach. There we go. Let's eat some chunks while we're at it. So what in the world attacked us over here? I mean, it came out of nowhere. What kind of aliens? Don't know if they're gone now. Or I'm just not close enough or what. Alien drone. Wow, only a 5% chance to hit. Let's see if I can get a clear shot. 8% chance. There we go, 55%. Gonna move over here. Holy cow. Oh, I'm gonna die again. I'm gonna lose all my stuff. Holy mama. Holy cow, these guys mean business. Alien invader. I am doing no damage to this guy. Oh gosh, what just happened? Oh, son of a... Run, dude. Come on, switch weapons. Damn. Okay, can't. Oh, 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 oh. Oh gosh. <laughs> Listen to that damn thing. What in the world is going on? 
I don't want vats. Where is he? He's over there somewhere. Where is he? Holy cow. This guy means business. Where'd he go? There he is. Whew. Hold still. Wow. That guy was tough. Obviously, I'm not using the right kind of weapon against him. He's going to use something different than what I'm using. Chally the Moo Moo. I think I remember this from before. Yeah, I remember Chally. Chally's running away, and I don't blame him. I don't blame him one bit. Holy moly. Uh-oh, there's trouble. Cryogenic alien. shooting where I was a moment ago. Yeah, he can't see me. Okay, we got him. Brown circuits, waste, antiseptic, and a toy alien. Who are these guys? Oh, 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 oh. Okay, that's just Chally. Goodness. Oh, gosh, there's another one. There's a drone down there. Oh, gosh, look at all this stuff. Well, Chally is distracting him, which is good for us, but bad for Chally. I think there's still something else out here. A drone. Charlie's probably dead. Nope, I just heard Charlie. Drink a nuka cherry, why not? Let's eat some sugar bombs, why not? Oh, Graham! I think they killed that other alien for me. Okay. Trade? Graham don't care. Just trade. Just trade. Uh, Graham has a lot of stuff. Probably stuff I sold to him over the years. I don't know. Oh, look at all these plans that he has that we don't know. Wow. I have 16,000 caps. Am I interested in any of these? Fair. Oh, well, maybe. Protective lining casual under armor. That sounds pretty good. Let's buy that. Yeah, sure. I don't know. Sounded good. Me. Okay. Let's uh, loot this thing. Alien drone. Come on. Bunch of circuits. Let's go over here and pick up our stuff. Something. Retrieve all of it. There we go. We got all our crap back. Whew. We're going that direction? That doesn't feel right. 
but it is. Charlie. Me and you always. Charlie and Graham. Graham and Charlie. Good friends. You know, I never really thought about it before, but when he says Charlie, I wonder if he's trying to say Charlie. Not that that makes any more sense than Charlie does, but at least Charlie's a name. Man, I almost reached up to hit F5. I'm so worried about running into those aliens again. Those things were tough. I mean, I've fought quite a few level 75 enemies since I restarted, resumed playing the game, and I don't think any of them were that tough. I have to get a special alien weapon just to have on me in case I run into them again, but the way I flounder and freak out whenever I'm in the middle of fire, I'd never be able to switch to the proper weapon in time. Vance isn't seeing anything. A diseased squirrel. Don't bite me, squirrel. There he is. This might be the ridge that I'm concerned about. Aluminum vein. Whoa. Wow, that's so far down I can't even see the bottom. So, <laughs> somebody in the comments reminded me of why I'm walking around with this um, uh, armor chassis. It's uh, so that I can step into it and jump from high distances. <laughs> I do not know how you remembered that, man. <laughs> but I'm glad you did. Because you're exactly right. That's why I carry this around. Because, I mean, I, I hope it's still true that I can jump from any distance in this armor. Sure can. <laughs> oh gosh, do I know how to get out of it? I sure do. That's great, man. I'm so glad you reminded me of that. Collect it. And now we put it in our backpack and... On we schlub. Yeah, with that, it's very dark out here, I know. With that in our inventory, there's no distance, no height we can't jump from. I mean, I'm pretty sure you, I could jump from the tallest building and survive. So in the upper left-hand corner, there's an event called Invaders from Beyond that I've been told is pretty cool. It starts at the top of every hour, and sure enough, it is 10 o'clock right now. Uh, I'm not going to start that right now. Uh, since I'm more than halfway through this episode. Diseased hulking mega sloth? Whoa. Uh, I will, next time I play maybe, uh, I will try to, um, start my play near the top of the hour. So that I can... Take part in that. Not sure why that mega sloth wasn't hostile towards us. But I'm glad it was was not hostile. Okay. Are we here? I guess we're not, are we? No, we still have quite a ways to go. Oh, it's so dark here. hesitate to turn on my lamp. I don't want to get attacked by aliens again. I think it's a downed plane over there, I think. This is crazy coming back here. Look at this place. The ladder over there. But uh, wherever we're going is further in this direction.
Look at this place. Oh no! The last thing I wanted to run into. More of those aliens. Oh my gosh, how many of them are there? Holy cow. How far away am I? I'm gonna try to avoid them. Yeah. I wonder what kind of weapon I would need to fight them. A special alien weapon? I don't know. Wow. That's crazy. Yeah, they shouldn't be able to see us. <laughs> That's so cool, though. Okay, we're getting close. Let's see here. Are they way down there? I have to put my armor back on, aren't I? Yeah, I do believe I'm going to need to put my armor back on. <laughs> this is kind of cool. Okay. Geronimo. <laughs> that is so great. Okay. Exit it. Collect it. Nice. Almost reached up to hit F5 again. That's... That is a hard habit to break, especially when I'm playing other games in which I do reach up and hit F5 a lot. Alright, Jenny. Where are you? This Jenny brought us all together. And nothing will take a surprise. Guy's walking around with a gun. Villagers. High level villagers. Oh, nice. I just saw a lightning bug over there. <laughs> is this the way up? Hope you're not afraid of heights. Maybe I'll ask around and see if anyone needs help. This is awesome. I thought this high ground would be useful for hunting. I remember visiting this place before. Lovely weather, isn't it? Uh, and I can't remember whether there were people here or not when I visited it. Have you met Miss Janie? She's responsible for our little family here. Yeah, I think she's right over here, isn't she? There she is. Can't always find a perfectly preserved I thought I'd live in a tree. I can always preserve a perfect life. Jenny. What's up? Hello there, stranger. What can I do for you? Well, um, I guess I'm here on behalf of the Brotherhood. Well, aren't you just the cutest Brotherhood member I've ever seen? Oh, stop. My name is Jenny Brown, and I'm the mama hen of this little family here at the retreat. Lately, my kin have been harassed by a woman named Dagger and her blood evil raiders. She's causing all my people to go hungry and threatening our lives. You should take some time to talk with some of my people. I'm sure they have some useful information about Dagger that they can share with you, you know. I wonder what everyone's doing. Okay. Uh, make friends, but I don't want to. No thanks, just tell me where I could find Dagger or I'll be off to go talk to them then. Yeah, let's, let's go talk to him. Great. Let me know if you need anything else, darling. Okay. Um, what else do you have to say? I hey there, sunshine. How can I help you? Mm, I want to know more about you. You want to know about me? Well, all right then. Shoot. Well, um, why did you want to come to Appalachia? Even though we were able to get by well enough traveling... 
We grew past the point where it wasn't sustainable anymore and we needed reliable trade. While going from place to place, we started to hear talks about people coming back to Appalachia, and it seemed as good of a place as any. Plus, I got some youngins talking about starting families. Bless their hearts. Kids need all the stability that they can get in this unstable world, so it makes sense to find a place we could call home. Mm hmm what was your life like before the bombs fell? Well, I spent my days watching television and gossiping with my gal pals. Nothing too exciting, but boy, would I give anything to have one boring day again. I had a beautiful family with two precious grandbabies. I loved them bunches and bunches. More than anything in this whole wide world. This Maybe family I've them. created will we'll never them. replace them. But it helps with the loss a little bit, you know what I mean? I guess. What made you gather all of these people together? I really didn't do it on purpose or anything. It just kind of happened. <laughs> you know, darling, I think a lot of people these days are just looking for some human companionship and kindness. There's enough to worry about in this world we live in, but having a family helps you carry that burden. I see. I have a different question. I'd be happy to answer any questions you have. Um, I'd like to know more about the retreat. Well, I'd be happy to talk about our lovely home. Where did you live before the retreat? We were nomadic before we came to Appalachia. It worked out well because traveling around meant finding more people to add to our family. We've grown quite a bit though, so it only made sense to set down some roots. Why don't you live in Foundation with the settlers? We don't have anything against the settlers. In fact, we often trade with them. We just want to be on our own and don't want to get wrapped up in the drama between Foundation and Crater. Okay. Why did you choose to live in a treehouse? Well, since we are higher up, we've got good sight lines all around us and are able to protect ourselves pretty well from the local uh, wildlife. <laughs> These houses were already built too, which made it quicker for us to get set up. Besides, it makes me feel like a kid again. All right. Talk to you later. Sounds good to me. Okay, so... Jenny Brown has suggested to me that I go and talk with some of the villagers here and get to know them. Well, let's see here. Where are they? They all seem to be in this direction. There's a couple of them right beneath us here, it looks like. Go see what they have to say. That strangler vines can grow out at night and wrap around you while you're sleeping. Oh, here's one. What's up, villager? Hey there. Sorry, we're a bit wary of strangers right now. I don't blame you. How'd you end up here in the retreat? Miss Jenny heard of all the people in Appalachia and thought it would be a good spot for some consistent trading opportunities. I came across all these abandoned tree houses and it seemed like the perfect place to set up our little haven. It allows us to keep our independence while still making it easy to trade with the settlers. Mostly. I'm here about Dagger. What do you know about her? I know that she's got numbers and she's smart. She's got people tracking our trade routes and they've been harassing our caravans. It's making the settlers not want to trade with us for fear of losing their own people. I don't blame them either. Dagger's people are making it harder and harder for us to have the supplies when she comes to collect, honestly. I think she just wants an excuse to kill us off. Well, that kind of sucks. Gotta get going. I believe in you to give that dagger what she deserves. Okay, I really didn't mention that I was going to do that, but all right. Uh, okay, here's another person over here, the guy with the gun. Hey, man. 
What's up? Uh, forgive any attitudes from us. We got people going hungry here. Hmm. Um, why did you join Jenny Brown? I was surrounded by a group of vicious mole rats when some members of Miss Jenny's family found me. They saved me. Figured I could use some more protection from all the nastiness in this world. Now we just need to deal with dagger. What made you want to live in tree houses? Are you kidding me? It's gotta be the coolest digs you can get in the apocalypse. I'm proud to call this place my home. And these people my family. What more can you tell me about Dagger? I run the storehouse here. I have to deal with the lieutenants that come to collect every week. They have some sort of fancy rocket launcher that blow this place to smithereens. Give me opportunity. Her and those Blood Eagle Raiders are definitely too tough for us to handle on our own. Something's gotta be done about her. I hope you're the one to do it. Okay, I gotta go. You go get that dagger. Ooh, and bring me back my Instamash. Please. <laughs> What's this water right here? That's just what this place sounds like? You're up late. Sweet, to cheer everyone up. Okay, and there's somebody uh, over uh, here, up wow. there. Sugar. Let's see if I can uh, figure out how to get up there. Go up this way, maybe. Go up here. Go across this way. Here we go. This is a neat place. Oh, hey, wake up. I need to talk to you. Don't cause any trouble around here. I will be able to find you. Um, okay, weirdo. How'd you meet Jenny Brown? My partner and I were holed up in a building when we heard some people come inside and start looking through the place. We were worried that we would have to fight. But instead, Miss Jenny welcomed us into her group with open arms and offered us a place in the family. What do you like about living here? Being high up in these trees makes me feel safe. Plus, everyone looks out for each other here. And we do what we can to make the best of it. If you can just help get rid of Dagger, we can go back to living in peace. Okay, well, do you have any useful information about Dagger? I went out hunting shortly after one of her weekly collections and tracked her lieutenants to see where her hideout is. I lost their trail and wasn't able to get the exact location, but I do know that they're somewhere to the southwest. If you find her, kill her. Wow. Her and her damn blood eagles are taking our food, water, stim packs, everything. All in exchange for allowing us to keep our lives. Well, that sounds like a pretty crappy situation. I've got to go on my way. Please, help us give that dagger what she deserves. Okay, well, I'll see what I can do. Nice place you got here. I kind of dig it. Whoa, did you jump up here? Uh, no, I walked. I mean, I, I could jump up here because I jump pretty high. I have a seat on this couch here. Ah, it's yeah. about time to eat. Well. Oh wow, I didn't realize I couldn't look at the Pip Boy when I was sitting down. <laughs> anyway, it doesn't matter. Uh, time for me to end this episode. When we come back next time, we'll go back to Jenny Brown. Tell her what we learned from the villagers. See if we can find any more information out about this dagger and the Blood Eagles. And then we'll go, we'll go mess up some Blood Eagles. That's what we'll do. Thank you guys so much for joining me on this episode. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, why don't you let me know? Leave me a like or a comment. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.